a very small reactor that we can absolutely launch into space, so it's about the size of a car, and it allows us to give continuous energy and electricity either on space or on Earth. I'm Abby Clayton, I'm Director of Future Programmes in the Submarines business. It absolutely allows people to live on the moon, so you think around you know, what sort of little village you might want to create, and given that there's no oxygen there, you've got to be able to create oxygen, water for people to live on, heating, lighting, and then you've probably got things like rovers or, or machines that you want to use on the moon's surface, and they'll need charging with something. During sunlight hours, and when you've got the sun, you can use solar. But if you want to explore the dark side of the moon uh, and go around the other side, actually you're going to need something else. So the, the nuclear power allows you to do that. The micro-reactor can be used similarly on Earth as it can in space, so to provide off-grid power effectively. So we may beef the units up to, to provide a little bit more power, but if you find, kind of think around mobile power units uh, to be able to remove diesel generators, for example, and that really starts to lower the carbon footprint and gives us a more sustainable future. The UK Space Agency is supportive of us actually quite a long time, so we, we started off some very low feasibility studies with them a, a couple of years ago, and we've gradually built that into more of a concept as we go through to the point now where uh, the UK Space Agency are supporting us in, in building some of those demonstrators to start proving the technology of various aspects of that reactor plant. The UK space environment is kind of growing quite a lot. Um, you know, here at the Leicester Space Park, we've got a whole hub of activity here around academia. And we're starting to reach out into the universities as well, University of Bangor, uh, Loughborough and Oxford. And it's not necessarily just about space, but it's the technologies that allow that to happen. So it's material science, uh, nuclear materials uh, or manufacturing. And we've got a lot of the manufacturing research centres involved as well. So it all comes as a hub together from the whole UK.